everyone and thanks for joining us today. My name is Dennis and I'm a Senior Account Manager at the Search Agency. Today we're going to be talking about the core requirements needed to launch your first product listing campaigns. There's four key pillars that are required before you can launch a shopping campaign. These include retrieving your client's raw data, formatting the data feed, exporting it to the Merchant Center, and of course, creating your shopping campaigns. Let's take a look at each one of these a little bit more closely. First, you have to retrieve your client's raw data. There's a few different ways that you can do this. There are Google Sheets, URL Download, and FTP. Google Sheets, while not the most common or the most flexible, is extremely convenient and does plug directly into Google's Merchant Center. URL download is a bit more common and most e-commerce sites will have some kind of a URL in which you can retrieve the data feed products. Most e-commerce sites will have a URL that's usually username and password protected that stores all of their product data. If you're gonna download uh, the product feed from a URL, you have to make sure that you ask the client for a username and password combination as these URLs are typically password protected. Probably the most common of all of three of these methods is the FTP. Because some clients just don't really want their data to be stored directly via a URL, they oftentimes store it in their server in which it can only be retrieved through FTP. Similar to the URL download, you will require a username and password type of a combination. So also make sure you reach out to the client and get that information ahead of time as well. Conversely, if the client does have their data stored on a server but doesn't want us to reach out for it directly, the client can actually push their data feed to your own FTP location, in which case the client's gonna need your FTP credentials. After you have your client's data feed, odds are you're gonna have to make some edits to it. These edits are going to include making sure that the column headers are labeled correctly, that your product titles are within the character limits, and that your products are matched to the nearest Google product category and contain other fields like brand and model number. If any of these categories are missed, as well as several other feed specifications that you can double check on Google's website, your product feed will then be disapproved. There are a huge number of different feed services that you can use to manipulate your data feed and handle all of your import export needs, uh, including some basic services that are included in Google's Merchant Center. However, at TSA, we prefer to use Feedonomics, which is a lightweight and robust platform that supports all shopping carts and can export to all marketplaces and shopping engines. Once your data feed is formatted correctly, then you need to export it to Google's Merchant Center. There's a few different ways you can do this. Like we mentioned before, if the client has their data in a Google Sheet, this plugs directly into the Merchant Center. However, most commonly, you'll probably be pushing the data to the Merchant Center via FTP. In which case, when you're setting up your import, Google will provide the FTP credentials that you'll need to then put into your export so that it can send the file to the Merchant Center. Similarly, you can also actually have the Merchant Center fetch the file from your server, in which case you're gonna to have to plug in your FTP credentials and the file name into the Merchant Center. Once your data feed is approved, then you can go ahead and start creating your first shopping campaigns. You do this just like you would any other campaign. First by clicking the big blue plus icon on the average interface, selecting shopping campaign, selecting the correct Merchant Center account and the correct country of sale. Once the campaign is created and you create your first ad group, you'll notice that there is a default all products sitting there. We strongly recommend that you begin to segment your products rather than bid against all products. Odds are you're gonna to wanna to treat different product categories differently from one another, and you may even have different performance objectives for each of these product categories. We suggest segmenting based on the client's website structure or using some custom labels to segment according to any of your marketing objectives. Once your campaign is created and your products are segmented, all that's left to do is to optimize. The most common optimization goal is going to be some kind of a return on ad spend objective, but it could still be CPA based or traffic based. You're gonna to wanna to make these decisions with your campaign management team. We hope this video helps set you on the path to launching your first product listing ad campaigns. Shopping campaigns are a critical component to any e-commerce client, and in most cases will outperform uh, standard text ad campaigns that you have running. So thank you for joining us today and good luck with your first shopping campaigns.